Hello, today I'll present you our project. It's called SOS School. Uh, it's a joint effort of uh, different organizations led by Directorate of Education from Kardica. Uh, we have partners from uh, Greece, Turkey and uh, Bulgaria, uh, represented by Ecologicam and Forum on Promotion of Volunteering in Civil Protection. Uh, the aim, uh, target of the project is the teachers uh, who we need to, uh, to teach how to react in, differ in differ different uh, situations regarding uh, emergencies. Uh, we have several outputs of the project. We have uh, uh, five groups of education directed for uh, children, how to they react in case of uh, uh, fires, uh, tornadoes, earthquakes, uh, car crashes, etc. etc. Uh, of course, we have uh, divided the material in order for, uh, to, to adapt it to each uh, age group. Uh, we have several uh, intellectual outputs like uh, mobile uh, application and uh, internet platform in which we have uh, integrated all the training material. Uh, also, we are making uh, several demonstrations throughout the schools in Bulgaria because we found out that there is an issue with uh, the knowledge regarding uh, uh, disaster uh, management and, uh, and reaction. Um, so we are making uh, role-playing scenarios, uh, different kinds of uh, education and practical activities in the, uh, in the venues. We are training with the teachers and with the uh, kids. In terms of the, uh, of the project, we offer to the schools uh, our educational uh, materials. Uh, we have uh, uh, different types of exercises for each disaster that we have uh, written material. Uh, each one includes a, also a practical activities that they may uh, do after uh, teaching the material. Uh, they may adapt it as they see fit, of course, uh, due, to due to their needs. Uh, also, we have included uh, in each chapter for uh, the certain uh, emergency uh, how to uh, deal with uh, uh, children with uh, disabilities in order to evacuate them or uh, treat them in terms of first aid uh, or any other uh, thing that uh, they need because they need special care. Uh, we have prepared also uh, very goodly uh, explained uh, first aid table uh, which is divided into sections in order to be easily understood by both teachers and uh, kids so they can uh, react in different situations and uh, give first aid to who, whoever needs it. So if uh, any of you is interested in the uh, topics that we uh, deal with this project, you may contact us uh, so we can come and uh, present you all the teaching material and help you make uh, uh, demonstrations with uh, both uh, children and uh, uh, their teachers. So me and our team will come and present to you the project results. Our organization is the Directorate of Secondary Education of Kardica. Um, uh, it's an educational organization uh, addressing mainly uh, students uh, aged uh, from 12 to 18 years old. Uh, we produce uh, training material, educational training material, and uh, we hope this material uh, is implemented within, let's say, an extra curriculum uh, in the existing uh, school curriculum. Greece is a country with a very uh, intense and rich uh, seismic activity, therefore uh, the SOS training material uh, is, uh, is of utmost importance. Uh, it can be implemented at schools, uh, at homes, it can even be implemented in NGOs working on civil protection, youth organizations, etc. There is a wide spectrum of implementation. The SOS training material is uh, categorized according to age groups, therefore this allows us to use it effectively in both primary and secondary uh, students. Uh, it is also accessible uh, to all uh, students, uh, students uh, with a refugee background, lacking adequate knowledge of uh, the hosting country's language, uh, students with learning difficulties, and uh, this is owing to uh, rich visual material that we have uh, prepared. This project is of course highly relevant nowadays because in the Balkan countries we have in the last years been, uh, been confronted with floodings, 
earthquakes, also fires. So within this project, we address a number of possible scenarios that have to be, that have to be learned by uh, youth that goes to schools so that they, 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 they really capture very well what should they do in every kind of emergency situation. Um, unfortunately, the, the, the last few weeks we have seen it again. People, there is a forest fire, they are unprepared how to act in such a situation. The same, there is flooding, people are unprepared how they have to act in such a situation. So we see that not only young people can benefit from the trainings that we provide in school, but as well actually adults. So that's why our, our project, okay, it is oriented to school education, but in fact, it is relevant for every adult person that really wants to ensure that in case of an emergency, they know exactly how to react. Η Διεύθυνση Δευτεροβάθμιας Εκπαίδευσης Καρδίτσας στην υλοποίηση αυτού του προγράμματος είχε ένα διπλό ρόλο. Ο πρώτος, ο συντονιστής του προγράμματος ήταν να καθοδηγεί και να συντονίζει τους εταίρους ώστε στο τέλος να πραγματοποιηθεί υπό τις καλύτερες προϋποθέσεις και συνθήκες και βεβαίως και τα εξαγόμενα αποτελέσματα να είναι τα πιο καλά. Ο δεύτερος και πιο σημαντικός ρόλος της Διεύθυνσης Δευτεροβάθμιας ήταν να δημιουργηθεί μια προστιθέμενη αξία στα σχολεία Τη πόλη μα και του νομού μα γενικότερα, ώστε το παραγόμενο υλικό να φτάσει σε αυτά και από εκεί και πέρα να αξιοποιηθεί τόσο από του εκπαιδευτικού όσο και από του μαθητέ, ώστε να μπορούν να ε, έχουν τι απαραίτητε αντιδράσει να αντιδρούν όπω πρέπει σε περιπτώσει που δημιουργηθούν ε, συνθήκε που περιγράφονται ε, στο έργο αυτό. Νομίζουμε ότι ε, ανταποκριθήκαμε με τον καλύτερο τρόπο και βεβαίως μετά την πραγματοποίηση της πολλαπλασιαστικής εκδήλωσης στην Καρδίτσα ε, θεωρούμε ότι ε, όλη αυτή η πληροφόρηση θα φτάσει τελικά στις σχολικές μονάδες και όλοι θα ε, αξιοποιήσουν τις απαιτούμενες πληροφορίες ώστε όλοι μας να γίνουμε σοφότεροι. Α, το πρόγραμμα SOS Schools μπορεί να αλλάξει τη ζωή σας.